Sagittarius. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxy. I'm going to do your September 2018 monthly general reading. This will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And as always, Sag, as a reminder, if the reading does not resonate for you, please watch your Moon, your Rising Signs. Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, Spirit, September 2018 for Sagittarius. The cards feel good. Celtic Cross spread for you guys, like always. I'm using the Arcanium Tarot for you guys. Sag, those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Facebook Live every Monday, Instagram for additional dailies per element. They're videoed. Instago if you'd like a question answered. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Bottom of the deck. Okay, we have the hangman. So this is waiting. You know, this is that limbo period. Could also be seeing things from a different perspective, gaining enlightenment. You know, some of you could have taken some alone time. You know, and now you've been enlightened. You feel free in this deck. You know, you do. Look at, there's you. Temperance. Balanced. Amazing. You do, you're definitely starting to see things differently. Others of you could be waiting for something. But I feel like so many of you, I love the chariot in this deck, so many of you are so ready to move forward. You know, with the energy of the hangman, I feel like, you know, you're, you're definitely, I feel like you're stuck at a crossroads. Some of you have a very big decision you need to make. But this is the ultimate victory and success card. You know, Sag, you're in the driver's seat. You have control over whatever's going on. Some of you definitely have two paths that you could take. You will make the right choice, the right decision, and you will be successful. You know, aside from the fact that this is the ultimate victory and success card, you have the Queen of Pentacles as well. Some of you, this definitely could be on the career front, family matters, Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you could be dealing with, but whatever it is, you will make the right decision. For some of you, I really do feel like you're, you're definitely could be changing careers. And in your foundation, you have the Emperor. Aries, Taurus, could have been important. You know, this could be your significant other, your spouse, your boss, that was important in the past. You know, and in the more recent past, you have the Two of Swords. Which is very interesting. This could be, really, someone that's closed off. Not open to change, being faced with a decision, but you don't know which way to go. So therefore, you put you put it off and you avoid it. But again, you're starting out with the chariot. So some of you could have needed some time to think things over. To balance things out. 
you definitely were dealing with this energy in the past where you weren't sure, you know, so you didn't move forward. Maybe you didn't make a decision. You simply weren't trusting in a situation. No, it's definitely a closed off energy. But at least this is behind you. You were not taking, this is a non-action card. You know, you were not taking any action before. You know, where now you are. You definitely are. And I, you know, and you're moving toward your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. You've received that clarity, enlightenment that you were waiting on. You see it here too. And it's behind you. And, and with the energy of the chariot, it's awesome. You know, some of you still might be looking at two different paths, but you will absolutely make a decision. And crowning you, you have the six of wands. So you have both you have both victory cards in this reading, Sag. This is the ultimate victory in success. And you know that it's coming because this is what's crowning you, what you're thinking about. And I feel here that you have the confidence. You know, you're guarded and you're protecting yourself. But you absolutely have the confidence And I really feel like you're moving forward confidently. Some of you could even feel very successful. Again, this could be, you know, within your career, whatever it may be. You will absolutely be successful. Maybe you started your own business. Success. Coming up around the second half of the month, you know, you have the Page of Cups, but you also, you have three pages in this reading. And I do find that very significant, like schooling, learning could be important for some of you. You know, prior others of you, children could have been important. This could also be message that's coming in, news, exciting good news. It's going to make you very happy. Some of you, it could be an opportunity, whatever it may be. It's going to make you very happy. It's going to make you very excited. And very interesting in the position of how you see yourself. You have the Page of Swords. You're definitely guarded. You're, you're, you know, you have this sword. You're definitely guarded, and and I'm seeing it as as a, as a pessimistic energy. You know, someone that's expecting the worst, expecting disappointing news. You know, some of you have this really exciting opportunity that's coming in, but I feel like some of you are still on the fence, guarded here. Or maybe some of you are moving forward with it, but it's very possible that, you know, you don't have the most positive expectations and in the position of your environment and people around you, you have the page of wands. Again, you have exciting news coming in. It could be from a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. Again, you know, it's exciting news that's coming in. This could be an exciting adventure. Some of you could be being viewed as going on an exciting adventure. You know, you're starting down a new path. You know, you could still be a little bit weary, a little bit unsure about this, but you're still, you're still going for it. For some of you, you've, you, you've accepted this opportunity. You've made your decision and you're going for it. And in your hopes and fears, you have the five of wands. So fearing internal or external challenges, 
If it's internal, it could be you struggling with something. If it's external, it could just be competition that's around you, just dealing with, you know, challenging people or energies. Not, you know, not seeing eye to eye with someone. You know, but again, this is in the fears position. So you're fearing this. You know, fearing competition, fearing more challenges. Whatever it might be. You need to really just have positive expectations. That's definitely needed here this month. Sagittarius and you are leaving the month with the eight of cups look at that moon I mean you're you're moving forward you know it, it can mean walking away from something that's emotionally no longer serving you or it's just no longer fulfilling you anymore Most of the time I do see this as being very focused on the future. You know, definitely moving forward. You know, some of you could even be getting ready. You know, preparing, getting ready to move on. Yes, the overall energy is the hangman. But that, that also represents a temporary energy because this is your, your angel. You know, your guardian angel guiding you on the path that you're meant to be on. Definitely. And would you believe the Page of Pentacles is under there? You can't make, even make this shit up. And, you know, a lot of you have been waiting a long time to do this, probably. Waiting on an opportunity. Offers. And it, it, it's definitely happening for you. You're definitely moving forward. I feel like some of you just need a little more time to figure things out. You need more time to determine what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, the direction that you should move in. But again, you're starting out with the chariot. And leaving the month with the Eight of Cups which represents moving forward. And some of you feel very successful in other, you know, in other areas you feel confident. Others of you are still on the fence or a little pessimistic, but that's okay. You know, that's energy that you're going to absolutely overcome very easily. Some of you need to feel powerful like the emperor, successful. If news was delayed for some of you and you're, you know, you're, Waiting on some kind of information, you know, or news here. Oh, all over the place, really. You've got three pages here. But with the Page of Swords, if it was delayed for some of you waiting on some kind of information or news to come to you, you could definitely expect to receive that this month. For real. And the Page of Pentacles under there. I mean, it could be so many opportunities for you. I don't think I've ever seen a reading where four pen, four pages have shown up in a reading. Okay, I'm going to clarify. The um, mini Rider weight. And really all I want to clarify is this page of swords. Capricorn, the devil. There's you guys. Queen of Wands. One more. The Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Twice. 
Some of you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Like I said earlier, you know, I see the Page of Swords. As someone that's on the fence, fearful. You know, and the devil could also represent fear. Definitely. You could be obsessing about something. Some of you have definitely felt stuck trying to free yourself from a difficult situation or environment, whether that be a job, relationship, whatever it may be for you, experiencing delays. But news is absolutely on the way, Sagittarius. And again, for some of you, it's either career, financial, or it could be concerning family matters. You know, with the devil, a Capricorn could be important. News, information is definitely, definitely coming in for you at the end of the month. And it allows for you to move forward. So let me pull you guys an Oracle card. These are Oracle of the Unicorns. Very amazing deck. There's the front of them. And of course, a Romance Angels card. But you guys are, don't, just, you need to feel confident, I think, Sag. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it, because you can. Additional guidance for Sagittarius Spirit. September 12th. Okay, definitely going to be this one. Courage, look at that. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. You can't make this up, Sag. Unbelievable. With the devil, the page of swords, some of you are fearing the worst or you don't have positive, positive expectation. You will absolutely overcome that. Like I said before, some of you need to be strong, you need to have the courage. You are safe, so stop worrying. Fear is an illusion. You know that, right? Those of you that are worrying too much, maybe you do need to set boundaries for yourself. You know, it says right down here, set strong boundaries. And then for your love and relationships, you have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Those of you that aren't getting into a relationship, committing to someone, you could be getting engaged. And if that's the case, congratulations. I mean, that's awesome. You know, this card is all about taking things to the next level. If you're not in a relationship and you've been single for a while, you know, I feel like this is taking it up a level, taking the next step. You know, those of you that are single, getting out and about, you know, putting yourself out there, engaging, getting out and about more. And with the Page of Cups here, some of you, you could be flirting, vice versa. It could be someone that you're getting to know. Communication is very relevant and important for so many of you this month. And some of you are definitely getting to know someone this month. Very nice, Sag. Really, not bad at all. Not at all. Looks like a great month for you guys. Victory and success all over the place. Emperor, Chariot, Six of Wands, and you're being... Both of these cards are spiritual cards. Really, being spiritually and divinely guided. Uh, 
Absolutely. I feel like here too, you're you're mixing up something. You're throwing in the fire, you're throwing in the water, you're mixing up something. You're planning, you're getting ready. Love it, Sag. Guys, if the reading did not resonate for you, please watch your other signs. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I hope you guys have a wonderful month. And I will see you guys back here soon. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.